Uh, name of the narrator is Katie Churchill. Name of name of interviewer Victoria Beck. Date, time, and location is Thursday, April eleventh. It is eight oh four a.m. at the Ruth Patrick Science Education Center. So, Katie, we're just gonna start from the beginning. You know, real basic. And so, I would like to ask you, when and where were you born? I was born in 1989 in Hartford, Connecticut. Hartford, mm -hmm. Connecticut. And did you did you grow up there? Mm -hmm. yeah. Not in Hartford, but around Connecticut, Massachusetts. Oh, okay. Cool. Um, so, what was it? What was, what's it like there? Because I never left South Carolina. <laughs> <laughs> well, everywhere in New England is very cold. That's the defining factor. Um, everyone's really mean. <laughs> <laughs> and rude um, but it's a beautiful place it's absolutely gorgeous a lot of people think that like Connecticut's a bunch of rich people that's not true it's really not I'm from a farm town like I grew up and my summer jobs were always like working tobacco farms or horse farms um, you can <laughs> steal corn from all the cornfields when you're a kid you tag barns. Yeah, we were bad kids, but it's mostly farm stuff, and it's gorgeous in the fall. If you ever go, go in September. It is beautiful. Oh, that's where all these change colors. Mm -hmm. Oh wow, it's gorgeous. Wow, that's really neat. Mm -hmm. um, so, can you tell me about your family? Yeah, uh, my mom kind of. She's a little bit of a gypsy soul. Um, she likes to move around a lot. She likes to switch jobs a lot. <laughs> so she doesn't really have a profession, but it's really fun to watch her kooky ways. She's a little crazy. I love it. Uh, my dad was in the Navy. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. That's how I ended up in the Navy. Uh, okay. um, I have an older sister. She's like 12 years older than me. And she's got three girls that are my the light of my life, my little nieces. <laughs> um, I have an older brother who is in the Army. Uh, and then I have a younger brother who's actually looking at joining the Navy right now. So you just have a whole family of... Yeah, man. That's pretty neat. Military brats. That's how it happens. <laughs> so did you, so you guys just kind of stayed put, or did you, or did y'all travel at all? Um, we stayed around Connecticut and Massachusetts when I was growing up, but all of us, when we left home, ventured out on our own. You know, like my brother moved to San Diego for a while. I moved to Charleston, and then I moved to New York, and then I moved to California, and then I moved to Washington. Now I'm back here. <laughs> so, that means, kind of so that means you're like the, the middle? Can you say you had a younger brother? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me and my older brother are the two middle kids. Oh my goodness. How's mm -hmm. that? That's a fun time. It's a fun time. You know, I'm bookended by two brothers, so that was a little rough. I was always kind of a tomboy. So my sister's so much older than me that um, me and my brothers were always hanging out. <laughs> So we used to like fight, and get dirty, and get hurt all the time. Like I grew up like a boy. <laughs> so, uh, so where did you go to school before serving? Uh, I went in Connecticut on the northern border. I went to Enrico Fermi High School. Oh, yeah, that's a nice name. Mm -hmm. It sounds nice. It's just a public high school. <laughs> like, it's like it sounds nice, not actually nice. Not that nice. Uh, our football team was like notoriously terrible, and I was in the marching band, so like we got all the credit. We got like varsity letters for marching band because we were like the all New England champions for three years in a row, and our football team won two games in my entire high school career. So you guys are like, so we're like, yeah, we're in the band. We actually win stuff. This is great. Uh -huh. Tables have turned. So you had to like hype everybody up for the mm -hmm. terrible football team. Yep, <laughs> that's exactly what it was. People would leave after halftime. Like, all right, we saw the band. We can leave. <laughs> and this is a tough question, because, but do you remember what life was like for you in high school, like other than like marching band? Um, I mean, I had a pretty good time in high school. I was, I've always been kind of a nerd. All of my friends have always been kind of nerds. I was in drama club, I was in the band, I was in all like the AP classes and stuff, but I really surrounded myself with a lot of the same kind of people. Mm -hmm. So we had a good time. There was a big group of us. No stereotypical high school struggle. <clears throat> I mean, it 
of course there was, but it wasn't that bad for me. That's true. You know? Uh, so, okay, well, yeah, you mentioned your father was in the Navy, so that was your big influencer mm -hmm. for going. Well, uh, yeah, my dad was in the Navy, my grandfather was in the Navy. Uh, when I was going to college, when I was applying to colleges and stuff, my major was actually going to be music performance. Um, I played the flute and the piccolo, and I really loved it, and I was really good at it. I got into a bunch of really good schools, and then I found out that I have arthritis in my wrists. <laughs> So, that was no longer an option, and I didn't have a backup plan, so always have a backup plan, kids. Um, <laughs> so I was like, well, crap, I guess I'm joining the military. Okay. Well. That's how that goes. <laughs> oh, man. So wait, what's the piccolo then? It's a tiny flute. It's like this big. Oh, so that's where the wrist came into play. Mm -hmm. oh. And, the flute, and I, pl I played a bunch of instruments. I played like the piano, and the guitar, and the saxophone, like I dabbled in a lot of things, but that repetitive motion just wears you down. Darn. Yeah. Okay, so can you tell me what the process of basic training was like? Um, it's, <laughs> it's a lot of hype, honestly. Like, they get you really worked up about everything. Um, it's not that bad, at least in the Navy. It's not. Like, you do work out a lot. You spend a lot of time doing physical activities. Mm -hmm. And you study a lot of, like, the Navy history and ranks and insignias and proper procedures for this and that and that's pretty much it like you do a lot of workouts and then you do a lot of learning of that stuff military bearing and they try to kind of change your attitude they try to give you that attitude like I'm in the military I have to obey orders and but they're not really that serious about that <laughs> so I have no idea what basic training is like it must be pretty pretty tough I mean, it's a little hard, and it feels a lot harder when you're in it. When you're done, you're like, mm, that's, it was fine. This is totally fine. It's only eight weeks. Like, it's not that long. It's eight weeks. It's two months. And then you're done. Forever. You never have to go back. So what was the, what was the hardest part of basic, you think? Um, for me, it was that was the first time I had ever been away from home. Mm -hmm. And you're, you're a little bit isolated. Like, you can send letters and stuff, and once a week you get to call home and talk to your family and stuff, but you're pretty isolated in general. And I was 18 years old. I had never left home for that long before. That was probably the hardest part. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. What about if there's an easiest part? Is there, is there an easy part? Honestly, the phys physical training is the easiest part. They, they take you from the beginning, and they start you off pretty slow, and they work you up to where you need to be like and it's like having really mean personal trainers <laughs> what was that like <laughs> they just they yell a lot they don't mean it oh, yeah. and they can't touch you so it's not really that scary it like hurts your feelings sometimes but I mean who cares <laughs> but like they'll train you they'll tell you what you need to do to get where you need to get and stay there mm -hmm. and they force you to do it <laughs> so you know go home Basically. Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, by the time you get to the end, you can run a mile and a half, you can do push-ups, you can do sit-ups, no problem, and as long as you maintain it, you're good to go. So, do you think uh, your upbringing, like, on the farm and all your brothers, do you think that helped you in any way? Probably. 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 I had pretty tough skin. It, I lived with 80 girls. <laughs> Not everybody has tough skin. There's a lot of crying over stupid stuff like she took my shampoo or something stupid like that Ugh. <laughs> but I grew up having pretty tough skin mm -hmm. so the, the yelling didn't bother me the okay. s none of it bothered me so you had oh so you said uh for basic it was just like was there like a mixture then could you say 80 girls or was it just like the barracks for women? um no, no no it was the way the divisions are about 80 people and for co-ed divisions, they have two compartments where you live, and half of one division, the males from one division, and the females from one division are across the hall from each other, mm -hmm. and they share a compartment with another division that's half male and half female. Oh, okay. So you're living with 40 of your own division females, mm -hmm. and then 40 females from another division. Oh, okay. Just checking. Mm-hmm. Um, so do you think... Uh, 
do you think that uh, training has, like the basic training, do you think that's changed you in some way? And how so? I mean, it may have. It's one of those things that it's like, when you're done with it, um, you're glad to have been through it. And it does affect you a little bit, makes you a little bit tougher, and things don't phase you quite as much. But it was two months, ten years ago. It's hard to say how I would have turned out without it. Honestly, being active duty for the six years after that changed me a lot more than boot camp, I think. So uh, you did mention that you were a mechanic. Was there separate training for that, or was that part of the, the basic? Uh, there is separate training for that. So everybody has to go to basic training. Mm -hmm. right? That's why it's called that, obviously. Sure. And then you go to a special school for whatever your job's going to be. So if you're going to be a mechanic, you go to Machinist Mate A School. It's called your A School. Um, if you're going to be a cryptolog cryptological tech, you go to that school. Information technology, you go to that school, whatever. Um, for me, I was actually in nuclear power. I was on an aircraft carrier. And if you're on the carriers or the subs and you're working as a mechanic, you go to two extra schools after that. <laughs> and that's why I had to do six years instead of four because our training takes so long that they make you sign up for six years. So I went to my A school to learn how to be a mechanic, that's a few months, and then 